All right, so half of Madonna's new album was leaked onto the internet after an Israeli man named Addy Letterman hacked into her computer and uploaded the songs onto the internet. Madonna claims that this was an act of terrorism. Sorry, Madonna, the only terrorist act here is the terrorizing you're doing on my ears. Don't worry, guys, the FBI shortly came to the rescue and arrested the man. And he should be arrested, not for leaking or hacking, but for releasing this awful garbage onto the world before it had to be. Speaking of awful garbage, Justin Bieber's roast is coming up. Hopefully somebody will mention something about his uh, transition from the Ellen DeGeneres haircut pictured here to the uh, new Miley Cyrus haircut pictured here. It's a more modern look. Miley Cyrus had this to say when asked about Justin Bieber's new do. I thought I was looking in a mirror and then I realized that it was Justin Bieber. And uh, yeah, he, he had my exact hair, which we all know I've had for a minute. You I've had it for a minute. He had the swoop. I never, like, I, that was his thing. This is the Miley. He went and got a Miley cut. And I don't blame her for being upset. I'd be upset too if my pristine public image was compromised by Justin Bieber. All right, lots of breakups in Hollywood this week. So many that I actually have to read them off my cell phone. So, there's Kate Hudson and Matt Bellamy. Mandy Moore and Ryan Adams, Patrick Dempsey and his wifey, and then our good buddy Nicholas Cheffy's favorite soccer star, Cristiano Ronaldo, and his girl decide to call it quits as well. But don't worry guys, it's not all bad news. We've got some pictures here of celebrity couples going strong just to cheer you up. Also this coming Saturday at the Algonquin Commons Theatre, they will be hosting a showcase of all dancers throughout Ottawa, different styles, different talents. The event is called Dancers Give Back and it's actually to inspire social action through dance. And I think what I've learned is to be true to myself because that's what dancing is, it's truth. And maybe if we just danced a little bit more, there would be no more wars! I couldn't have said it better myself. The event is $25 with all proceeds going towards mental health awareness. Showtimes are 2 p.m. and 7 p.m. You know, there's an old Argentine expression, Viler como siesta, viendo uno cuchera. And I don't think it's ever been more true than now. Lindsay Lohan has found herself a new virus. Now I know what you're thinking, who has the Mean Girls star slept with this time? But she actually contracted a rare virus called Chicken Kungya from vacationing in Bora Bora and being bitten by the mosquito. But let me clear that up. It wasn't from the vacation, it was from the mosquito. Very informative stuff here. There's a whole lot more entertainment news that happened throughout the week, including the Screen Actors Guild Awards, but I don't feel like sharing that stuff with you. I'm Brendan Barlbin, and that's it for entertainment news.